Figure 3 shows a sketch of part of the curve C with parametric equations x equals tan t and y equals 2 sine squared t. The finite region S shown shaded in figure 3 is bounded by the curve C, the line x equals root 3 and the x-axis. This shaded region is rotated through two pi radians about the x-axis to form a solid of revolution. Show that the volume of the solid of revolution formed is given by this expression right here. So we have parametric equations. Now the first thing that we need to do to find the volume of a solid of revolution is to write the formula. So the volume is given by pi times the integral of y squared, which is the equation with respect to x, integrated with respect to x. Now here um, we don't have y in terms of x because these are parametric equations so we have to integrate this with respect to t and for that we will have to change the limits and we will have to find dx over dt and dx over dt since x is tan t so dx over dt is sec squared t now we can rewrite this as v is pi times the integral of y squared times dx over dt integrated with respect to t. Now to change the limits, the lower limit here is 0 and the upper limit is root of 3, so we're just going to replace them. So when x is 0, t is um, the inverse of 0 because since x is tan t so t is the inverse tan of x and the inverse tan of 0 is 0 so t is 0 and when x is root of 3 t is the inverse tan of root 3 which is pi by 3 and this is the calculator should be in radians mode for this one now we have found everything now we can write the equation so v equals pi times the integral from 0 to pi over 3 and then y squared so what is y y is 2 sine squared t so 2 sine squared t whole squared and then dx over dt which is x squared t integrated with respect to t. Now I'm just going to open the bracket here so we have pi times the integral and then this one 2 squared is 4 and sine squared t will be sine raised to 4 t and then sec squared t I can write as 1 over cos squared t with respect to t. Now here I can use the identity tan of an angle equals sine of that angle over cos of that angle. So we have sine I can split this into sine squared t multiplied by sine squared t so I can write sine squared t over cos squared t as tan squared t so I'm just gonna do that here pi over 3 so we have and I'm gonna take 4 out of the integral so 4 pi and then sine squared t over cos squared t is just tan squared t and then we have sine squared t with respect to t now we know the identity tan squared of an angle so tan squared of an angle plus 1 is identical to sec squared of that angle so here I can just rearrange this and I can write tan squared of an angle is identical to sec squared of that angle minus 1 so this tan squared t can be replaced by sec squared t minus 1
So 4 pi six squared t minus one and then sine squared t with respect to t. Sec squared t can be written as one over cos squared t and then we can expand the bracket. So we have one over cos squared t minus one multiplied by sine squared t with respect to t and when we expand the bracket, we get sine squared t over cos squared t, which is tan squared t. So tan squared t minus sine squared t, because sine squared t times 1 will only be sine squared t. And this is integrated with respect to t. Now for part b, I'm going to rewrite the equation for the volume, which we found in part a. So volume V equals 4 pi times the integral of um, uh, the integral of tan squared T minus sine squared T. These are the limits integrated with respect to T. Now I'm going to integrate both of these terms separately, so I'm going to write it down as 4 pi and then the integral of tan squared t minus the integral of sine squared t. both of these with respect to t and I'm going to put these in a bracket. Now I'm going to use the ident these identities to solve these further. So tan squared t tan squared t can be written as sec squared t minus 1 and sine squared t can be written as half times 1 minus cos 2t using this identity. So I'm just going to write that down here. So we have 4 pi and the integral of 6 squared t minus 1 minus, and we have half, we have half here in this identity and I'm going to write this half outside of the integral. So I'm just going to write it down as half and then the integral of um, 1 minus cos 2 t. So 1 minus cos 2 t with respect to t. Here I forgot to write with respect to t, okay? Now I'm going to solve this further. So we have 4 pi and when we integrate sec squared t, we get tan t. So this can be written as tan t. And when we integrate 1, we just get t minus half. And then the integral of 1 here also will be t. And the integral of cos 2t will be, we're going to use the reverse chain rule for this one. So here, um, the integral of cos 2t is just sine 2t and the sine doesn't change so it remains negative and we divide it by the derivative of um, the angle so we have 2t here so we're just going to divide it by 2 and we're going to write the limits here so we have 0 and pi over 3 now we can just simplify this so we have 4 pi and when we expand this bracket and then simplify it we get tan t minus 3 over 2 t plus sine 2 t over 4 
and now we're gonna replace t with the upper limit and the lower limit so 4 pi so first the upper limit so we have tan pi over 3 minus 3 over 2 times pi over 3 plus sine of 2 pi by 3 over 4 now this minus tan of 0 and make sure you put it inside a bracket so tan of 0 minus 3 over 2 times 0 plus sine 0 over 4 so tan of 0 is 0 this is also 0 and this is also 0 so this entire term becomes 0 and we're left with 4 pi and then tan of pi by 3 is root of 3 and um, 3 over 2 times so this will be pi over 2 because these these cancel so we have pi over 2 now sine of 2 thirds is root 3 over 2 so we have root 3 over 8 here and when we solve this further we get the volume the exact volume as 9 root of 3 over 2 pi minus 2 pi squared now this is the exact volume 